and we're live we're live I know we had I started a someone started another live stream and there's some folks on that side so I hope they come back to this one I kind of X that one out because I took too long to start it make sure the lights all the way up we're good have a few people come in It's a beautiful day out here. I had the family. How's it going? Five uh, three seven fishing. Appreciate that. Sorry about the other live stream. I I was I thought I was gonna get started and it didn't work out. Uh, guys, we have a lot of people. Mr. Chad, how's it going? Thank you so much. Jaw Jerker, um, uh, Max Seven, K Mr. Kentucky, Maurice, Turner. Guys, y'all are awesome. Guys, we already have 26 people here. Guys, so this is just kind of a, a quick unboxing of the rods that I'll be giving away. Um, there's no actual details, no rules yet. Um, I just need to get them out of the box so I can start working on them. So these are my whisker seekers that I've used in the past here. Not the one not the one that's, that I'm pointing out there, that one. That's just showing you that I'm gonna paint them something to, to that effect. Either that same way or the opposite way of the yellow and then the orange. Chesapeake, what's going on? Appreciate that. Uh, Rodriguez, thank you so much. Uh, why are you so lucky? Oh well, I, I've been, lucky blessed whatever you want to call it um yes i have um i've had uh, people send me hats shirts reels so it's 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 awesome and amazing and that really helps me grow the channel so um really quickly guys um i contacted whisker seeker um let's just say about a month ago and um i use quite a bit of the rods and i don't think i've been none of my live streams have ever been without that big rod eel head everyone knows eel head and um it's it's a phenomenal rod it's it's one of my favorite rods i contacted them and i said hey you know what i'm approaching um 5, subscribers uh you want to help me out they were awesome enough guys when i hit 2000 they sent me a rod to give away so um they said you know what they talked to i guess matt the owner the ceo and he says absolutely send them two rods so uh when they did that um, I said, you know what, since you're going to send me two free rods, I'm going to go ahead and buy two for myself. I like EO heads so much that um, I bought two more. So let's let's do a quick unboxing. I know that this channel doesn't do um, un unboxes because I have a hard time trying to explain myself. But guys, let me just show you that the tube it comes in here and it comes with staples. you got to be really careful with these staples here. I kind of just crypt them open a little bit. Let's see if I don't hurt myself. Well, I thought I did. I appreciate everyone being here. Man, <laughs> I thought I, ha I had cheated this. It comes with these heavy duty staples here. Appreciate everyone being here. Hit that thumbs up if you don't mind. Um, kind of helps out a little bit. So just want to talk about the rods I, that I'm thinking about giving away. Um, of course, they sent me two. I purchased two, so we'll be definitely be giving two away. Man, I can't, I cannot open this top. Here we go. Here we go. Got it open. So here's here's two rods. I believe. Let me see here. Let me not get confused. Here. Which or which? Yeah, so, so more than likely, guys, the plan is that I will be giving... I'm sorry for making that noise. Um, let me see here. What did they send us? Okay, they sent us um, uh, a seven and a half foot uh, heavy medium action, a spinning, and one casting. Now, if there is high enough demand where someone says, Elston, you should give away one small rod and one eel head rod because i actually bought these for myself two more eel head rods eel head is uh this big one right here so i'll go back i know i know i'm not really kind of reading comments right now but if there's a high enough demand that says you know what give away give away one small and one big i want the casting rod <clears throat> which one the the seven and a half foot or the or the nine and a half foot um i love both of them i love both and i bought this eel head rod about Seven and a half, yeah. That, I, I I thought that's kind of the ideal, um, since you do fish most most of your fishing right now is from the your pontoon boat, Maurice. Seven and a half, yeah. So that's that's my plan, guys, is to give away two seven and a half foot rods, which is I don't know how clear the camera is. There's one, two, three, four. There's four back there. There's four. Um, the only reason I put out 
Um, this one that's already painted, because I'm gonna be, they're gonna be painted with fluorescent uh, paint. I want a nine in the house. <laughs> uh, the big rods are better, I want one. Yeah, I know. Um, like I said, believe it or not, I prefer to fish with seven and a half foot rods, but that nine and a half uh, EO head, I just love the casting distance. Appreciate Leroy, you coming in, appreciate that. Guys, okay, size doesn't matter. Exactly, it's, it's gonna be a free rod, and it, more than likely, it's gonna have a paint job like this one right here. This is uh, Tone's rod. She sent me this rod, um, but the opposite. So it's gonna have the yellow, and then the accent color is gonna be there. So in other words, the yellow what stands out more. Um, I picked up two more cans, well, two different types of cans. I'm not sure how well this is gonna pull out here, and y'all gonna say, oh, well, that, looks, that looks pretty nasty. This is fluorescent paint, guys, but this is a one coat of primer. Um, this is Walmart's yellow. It's more of a yellow green. This one here is Home Depot's yellow. I think this color beats it. This is the one that's right now painted on the Muddy River Chris Flores rods. This is the yellow. So there's three colors here, believe it or not. Well, there's actually four. This is the, that pink. Um, this is Home Depot orange. And this is a, a Walmart. So these two colors are Walmart's. I'm sorry if I'm getting confused here. Walmart yellow, Walmart red orange. I really like these colors. So I'm gonna be using this as a primary color and then these two as an accent. I'm not sure how well, how well. Mrs. Dobson, how's it going? I appreciate that, Maria, for coming in. Appreciate you, you're awesome. Yes, autograph the raw chunky. It's gonna be autographed like this, like that. <laughs> uh, I like them. Yeah, I know you're a big fan of uh, carping catfish of the Whisker Seekers. Tommy Tech Outdoors, how, how's it going? Guys, like I said, right now, this thing was just for me to do the actual, um, Oh, there goes my eel head rods going down. <laughs> it's to get these rods out of the box and for me to start working on them. Um, I mean, I'm sure most of y'all would like to have them painted. Unless, I, I, I know there's always going to be someone that's going to say, oh no, don't ruin them, just leave them like that. But, I mean, my style is fluorescent paints or or the, um, the high reflective tape. So... Yeah, Outdoor Addiction, how's it going, buddy? And once again, I wanna thank you for all, everything that you did. You're absolutely awesome and amazing, Mike, um, Mike Turner. So let me let me officially open them real quick because the, the weather is absolutely gorgeous here. Uh, Bill of Rights, thank you so much for coming in. So look at this, brand new rod. Whisker Seeker sent us two of these. Um, this is the spinning edition. Um, this, these, rides, these rods are so, so light. I mean, everyone knows that Whisker Seeker is possibly my favorite rod. I mean, it's just, I love them. I just have so many other rods that I have painted, but after this giveaway, I mean, Whisker Seeker was nice enough to do this. Um, I'll be using Whisker Seeker for some time. Muskrat, how's it going, brother? Thank you so much for coming in. So let me just officially show, this is the spinning edition Whisker Seeker. And believe it or not, th this rod alone, under black lights, looks pretty good, because the fluorescent here stands out pretty nice I mean that that was my first idea if you go back to some videos I did a, a like a two minute video just showing whisker secret rods underneath black lights um, but I really want to do the whole thing in fluorescent paint all right so this is the spinning one that we'll, we'll give it away we'll, we'll be giving away one spinning uh, once we hit 5,000 and I'll, I'll probably I'll probably do it live um, on the bank just to kind of you know make it official i think that's kind of the best way you know if you're there watching and let me just show you this is the the casting seven and a half foot heavy medium action this is the casting one uh, hit the thumbs up yeah hit the thumbs up for getting ready for the giveaway like i said there's nothing to be giving away today i just wanted to get these whisker Se whisker seeker sent me these to give away guys i contacted them they once again i'll repeat myself they gave me they sent me one when i hit 2,000 subscribers um, and I said, I'm coming up on 5,000, you know, would you like to, to be a part of my giveaway? And they said, absolutely. So, you know, I just want to say thank you to Whisker Seeker um, for sending me two rods. When they said, Elson, we're going to send you two rods. Um, so this is the second one we'll be we'll giving away. It's, this is the casting one. So we'll be giving away one spinning, one casting. Um, not sure if I'm going to add a reel to them yet. Thinking about it, but... Um, all right, let me just show you a brand new... A brand new eel head rod. Um, everyone knows how excited I, I get when the eel heads. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not keeping up with comments here. Rex is in the house. I appreciate that. Uh, Collins, thank you so much. 
Whiskers Secret has the best coming. They, you know what, Maurice, hands down, they have an absolutely wonderful customer service. I've dealed with um, other manufacturers, maybe just reels or whatever, and, and it's, it's terrible. Whiskers Secret is on it on a heartbeat, heartbeat. So guys, this is a brand new, um, this is the new style. I forget it's the GX, no, no, no. What, 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 what is this called when it's got that metal? I forget, I should, I should have had my information better, but um, this is the exact same EO head rod that I have over there. Same thing that, super awesome. So I did kind of full metal jacket. Thank you for saying that, for helping me out there. This is a full metal jacket. What makes this a full metal jacket, it has the double reel seat. Um, I'll be honest, I've never, never had a problem with their regular, with their regular um, seat here. It locks in just fine, but you know, most of the catfish industry was going this way, so they wanted to keep up, but I believe if you want this edition, it's about $10 cheaper, and it's, it, they say it's one ounce. I think it's probably a little bit more than that. I know they're, they're two different sizes, but um, I heard, um, oh, what's his name? My mic went black. Uh, catfish Edge talked about it's one ounce difference if you go up, upgrade to this. Um, you know, a lot of people feel more, more secure that way. Uh, do you know anything about saltwater fishing? Uh, a little bit, just like uh, off the piers, uh, speckled trout, red drum, black drum. So, this is the eel head. I did ask the question, should I give away one small rod and one big rod? Most of the people in here so far said, give away two small rods. So, that's kind of what I had pl and plan. I want to keep the eel heads for me. So, I appreciate 57 people coming in, 41 thumbs up. Y'all are awesome and amazing. Appreciate all the love and support. There we go, guys. I'll be I'll be working on these rods, painting them here in the next couple of days. It takes several days for that fluorescent paint. I would like two small rods. <laughs> I bet you would. Uh, um, I appreciate you saying that. Oh, one, appreciate that. Are they? Yes, these are all two pieces. Um, I just thought. Well, here's the reason I did two pieces. Since they were sent to me, I didn't want to spend a fortune fortune on shipping it back out to the winner. Um, Believe it or not, shipping one of these rods in a container from UPS because um, the regular postal service will not ship a, a, a size this big. Um, it's around $42. So, I mean, can you imagine shipping a full tube? That It gets pretty expensive, but it's just easier for me to, to handle and, and, and ship out and paint them. Like I said, guys, Whisker Seeker, you know, if, if you're ever going to order something from Whisker Seeker, and it, there's a comment section, just say, hey, you know what? Chunky brought me here, you know, Chunky Cats. You know, maybe one day. Um, I'm not sure what you call our relationship with Whisker Seeker, a partnership, a friendship. They're just being so awesome to do this. Once again, this is the second time they, they send a rod. Um, they, this time they sent me two. The last time they sent me one to give away. I mean, I can't think enough. But just when they did that, I mean, I've been wanting two more eel head rods. So that was my opportunity to buy two more eel head rods. Plus, I have some uh, uh, Abu Garcia's 6500s coming. Chunky, are you? You are also. I appreciate you saying that. Uh, did I win? Not yet. Not yet, PD, but you might when we do the official uh, giveaway. Number three. Number three is going down. How clear is that on the background? I guess y'all can see them. So let me just show. So I just want to be clear. This rod is not Whisker Seeker. This is the one that Michael Murillo's aunt sent me. So I'm thinking of doing something like this to those rods I'm going to be giving away. Um, the only thing is, I, I'm not sure I, if y'all tell me if y'all want the reverse. So in other words, where the orange is at, to do yellow here and orange here. Um, but if you go back to my videos, check how this one looks. I think it looks absolutely awesome and amazing, especially under the black lights. Um, I have not added any kind of fluorescent tape to this one. Um, and to be honest, under black lights, you really don't need that fluorescent tape. Uh, how do everyone? Mr. Gadget, how's it going, buddy? It doesn't matter, Chucky. If you paint it, it will be awesome. There you go. So once again, if you just tuning in, um, I did. I do like Home Depot's yellow. This is Home Depot's yellow, but this is Lowe's orange red. So I really like there. I picked up this one yesterday, and then this is the regular orange that's right here. So if you look at the end, this one and this one at the ends, the two end colors are the ones that are here. So it's the one on, on left and right. But I do like this red color here. So I might even do one with, with that new red. 
um, I mean, if you win it, because you got to go get some black lights and some batteries, so, or whatever, just, uh, any chunky bling is great. I appreciate you saying that, Mr. Gadget. Yeah, I appreciate you that, you know, it's, that's, that's what it's about. Um, if I didn't say hi to you, more than that, because I can't read it, because I'm dyslexic, but uh, Home Depot colors are definitely better. Um, yeah, this one is really, really good. I don't like this one. This is a, a Walmart's yellow, kind of turned out green. But let me check out, look at this one. This is a very nice color. I, I saw it underneath black lights last night. So this is the orange from Home Depot and this is a uh, Walmart's orange red. I think this one look, it looks pretty pretty cool too. I know it's kind of hard to see guys, but I'm just, I wanted to pull this up. Um, so that's, that's what we're planning to do. What are you using to paint on the rods? Um, well, let me pull that up. If you ask a good question, uh, I'll, I can go grab that. You gotta hang around. Um, okay, so step one, to be honest guys i've never sanded the rod down i've never have i've, I've cleaned it um, with some kind of chemical you know um 409 um crud cutter uh or spray nine step one the most important thing is to have it clean and prime it this is the primer i've been using the zinzer 123 all this you can get at, at home depot um you know just kind of give it maybe two or three light passes if you give it one more than likely you're not going to get it all because you got to kill the black um of any fluorescent color will never never cover the black um i can you can give it 10 coats of fluorescent paint and it's so translucent that it won't cover so you got to give start with the white so here's the white primer and it's your your choice of fluorescent paints these two brands here um rustoleum are from home depot uh, these hands down are my favorite colors right here. It's it's the yellow. Let me pull this up and see if I can do all this without making too much of a mess. Uh, there we go. Um, I'm sorry. The yellow's here. That's the yellow here, and here's the orange. Right there. <clears throat> do you have to sand before priming? I do not. Will it help? Yes, it will. I I, I can guarantee you. I want to put this out. Um, okay, so this is the new color. So, oh, this is the new one I picked up from Walmart. It's right here. This is that red orange. It's called fluorescent red orange. That's exactly what it's called. Um, I don't know what the dry time is. I know that the ones. Uh, that's not focusing. Sorry, guys. I'm just. Anyways. So I'm thinking about using this one because I do I do like this red orange color. I mean I do love the orange as well, um, sandy. But I would probably use maybe a, a 320 grit. I wouldn't use 220. It probably might, it might be too rough. But when you give it two coats of a primer, it covers all those um, scratch marks. So once again, you have to use a primer, plain and simply. If you want to use an oil-based primer such as Kills or even Zinzer, I believe makes an oil-based primer you gotta let it dry let the primer dry uh, this i let it dry two hours and it's it's rock hard uh, when you start pushing the coat you're gonna have problems such as crackage yesterday i was pushing these i want to show you this you push the coats you're gonna run into cracking like this i'm not sure if y'all can see this cracking um of course this is a sample piece i just did this to see uh walmart's yellow i didn't like it i mean it, it looks okay under black lights but the, the rod has to look good during the daytime as as well as the nighttime if you decide to go with black lights uh, i think it's too dark still thinking home depot be awesome rods. is cookie there uh cookie is here uh he might be in class right now um but i'll go quickly check lg bass thank you so much for coming in matthew baker hey you changed your um your what do you call it is it avatar or is it your logo picture i don't know what it is whatever um nice catch uh yes the chad uh watching local oh not sure what y'all are talking about there but you have something going on uh leaper thank you so much for coming in 
All right, guys. So I just once again, I want to say thank you to Whisker Seeker. Um, I love using the rods, guys. I mean, if, if I know everyone has their preference of rods. Um, if you're in the market, I'll be honest. If you're in the market, check them out. Check out Whisker Seeker. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal rods. I mean, this rod you can catch a three-pound catfish up to an 80 pound catfish and they will both feel awesome on the heavy medium action okay keep that in mind heavy medium action i do have one heavy rod which is the one with the boy right here with the silver tape right here now that's more for heavy water you know but heavy medium action in my opinion i love it um we'll be giving away these here when i hit 5,000. they've been properly painted they've been dried properly because that's worse than paint I give it anywhere between 12 to 15 coats. Um, it's always soft. Oh, that's the next question about 80% uh, of my rods are whisker seekers. Yes, I think I have purchased, I'll kid you not, somewhere between 12 to 14 whisker seeker rods. Um, I have given one away to my brother-in-law, to one of my best friends here in the area. Um, and I had small rods. Bl yes, yes, black fry. Uh, Maurice, thank you so much for, for bringing that up. If you don't need a rod right now, but you're thinking about getting one in the future, wait for Black Friday. Black Friday is the way to go. Thank you, Marsh, for bringing that up. Whisker Seeker has phenomenal deals on Black Friday. Not only do they have a reduced price, they'll add free stuff to your cart, um, such as rattles or hooks or um, a rag. So yes, good, good, good point. Now, last thing about this, guys. This, this thing, this paint job that I do will never be an actual, how can I say, a factory finish hardness. Um, let me show you where I keep my hook How the paint comes off. Let me show you right there Right there. It, it, it comes off now. I, I've only used this one a few times um, When the weight um, Michael Murillo says Elson you need to put a sleeve over your you know your your rods when this weight beats it um, This one has it has held up really well for some reason What what I did and and you you can also see here. I want to I don't like to hide anything from anyone um and of course, I'm, everyone knows I'm not nowhere near perfect, but the clear, the clear has runs in some areas. I mean, I like to put a heavy, heavy coat of clear. I want to protect as much as possible because that black light has so much, so much UV rays. I'm afraid that that's going to wear out the, you know, the fluorescent paint after all this work that goes into it. Ah, uh, bunch of fools. What's going on? Hope that's not a troll, but keep it clean. Let's see. Uh, next live. That's that's a good question. I mean, I don't want to go out there and get skunk again. The plain and simply. I mean, here's the thing. I, I guess it's a good thing it's my first live stream that was officially skunked. But I'm gonna wait until people are catching fish. Um, yeah. So let, let me just one tip. Not that I know much about fishing, but guys, don't ever ever put your hook here in the eye. Just don't do it. If, if this barb, if this barb scratches the inside of that eye, you're gone. It will ruin mono lines. It will ruin, there you go. It's, we're not gonna keep, you know, have trolls come through here. Um, yeah, that, don't ever, put it on the side. It takes you no more time to put it right there on the side. Not in the eye, but on the side. Not sure we have to see that. Um, just a tip. Um, it, it, I like demon dragon tips you gave. I appreciate you saying that, so, um, you know, this one here is a really cool one. I've had this, this, um, this is an actual spook. Um, I've had it for, I don't want to lie, maybe 15 years. I actually maybe brought this one from Texas with me, probably longer than that. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's whatever you feel. Th this one I just have straight, straight to the hook here. Um, this is a spook. You can use demon dragons, egg floats, whatever, whatever you like. And I'm going to push this up because I want to keep this as close as possible. The only thing I'm going to do difference from now on is I'm going to use quick, quick clips here instead of this rig. Because I'm going to tell you why I'm going to go away from using, man, it started to echo here, um, this monofilament straight to here. If this hook wears out and gets dull, I can't change it out. So I, instead, I'm going to, I'm going to start the mono from here down this way and use a quick clip here so I can change my hooks out. Um, that's going to be a change there. Hanging in there. What's going on, uh, Avid? Appreciate you stopping by. Say hello. I just showed off the the rods that Whisker Seeker sent me. They sent them to me all, almost a month ago, and I just once again let me show you that you know the paint job does get scratched up. Uh, where is it? 
right there where the hook stays. But for the most part, you, you don't see that, but I'm not going to hide anything from you. Um, but this is one of my newer rods painted. I mean, after several weeks, the paint job will get rock hard, but it takes it takes some time. Why is the negative two such You know, whatever. We'll just get rid of them. Um, I, I do have access to people who are going to be negative here. Um, once again, if you just tuned in, Whisker Seeker sent us two rods. These are the two rods that they sent us. Uh, two heavy medium action, set half foot rods. Love these rods. Love and love them. I have four of them back there wrapped with high, high reflective tape. And then I have my EO head, which is that one right there. That's EO head. And this is my heavy action spinning rod. <clears throat> but from, from Whisker Seeker, I love their heavy medium actions. I mean, heavy actions have their, their purposes. If you, I don't know where you fish. I mean, the Potomac River is not a fast moving area, at least where I fish. When it gets narrow, yes, there is. Love these rods. We'll be, we're going to be giving away a casting model and a spinning model. I'm not sure you can see the. Oh, this is the casting. And here's the spinning. Um, I'm going to bling them up, put some paint job, flare some paint, let them dry properly. And then once they're dry and I can take them out, we're going to be giving away after we hit 5,000. Um, I'll give the notice probably. I'll see how, how I can do it. Um, I'll be honest. I want, I really, really want one of you that watch my videos are here when you can be but it's going to be as fair as possible chunky Lee, thank you so much appreciate that take care of my <laughs> chunky you're already calling it you must already have the number that i'm, I'm I, I haven't even thought of but that's i like the confidence what's up chunky what's going on uh john not always are the same um change yeah Oh, 100% right. You, that's a good thing that you brought up who said that Mr. Gadget, every rod manufacturer, they might call a rod heavy medium action and it really, really isn't. It's more of a heavy action or vice versa. It, it, um, so you're exactly right. <clears throat> What's up? Thank you for coming in. Appreciate that. Buddy River, Chris Flores, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much. Once again, guys, I do want to say thank you for Chris Flores, Muddy River catfishing. Uh, about a month and a half ago, we hit 500 live subscribers at one time. He was awesome enough to give away two rods right there on the spot. And, you know, I just want to say thank you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, one ton, thank you so much. I would love to win one of your rods. Uh, I appreciate that. Let me bring one of these other rods here. So, so this rod, you've seen me use this one several times in some of my videos. This one does not have paint. It only has high reflective tape. This one took me, I kid you not guys, probably four hours or maybe even more to wrap it with the high reflective tape. Now this one, you do not need black lights. All you need is a light source right next to your camera eye at nighttime and it would do it does an absolutely amazing amazing effect um i've been thinking about asking one of you all if anyone would want to do a trade i would trade you straight up um possibly i'm just thinking about this um i will send you this rod but you would have to send me a brand new rod for whisper Secret because I, I want to do painted rods from now on and to be honest i don't want to destroy this rod by taking off the tape which i could but some of the glue, it overlaps on, onto the rod. But if someone is interested in something like this, um, look, up, look up my email address. I might, I might be doing that. Because um, I want to go with painted rods. Have it, do you have any good out there? Yeah, I've been doing Lost Three Fish. Whisker Seeker rods are good. I caught 56. But... Super awesome. Were you, were you using a, a heavy medium or a heavy rod? A heavy current more than likely on heavy current you know you probably heavy action but me everyone knows that i like an actual medium action or a true heavy medium action medium heavy i'm sorry i always say it backwards that's just my dyslexic but thank you for <laughs> go back to work i right, go go back to work <laughs> yeah like i said there's no giveaway now i just want to do the official official unboxing from whisker seeker when i contacted them they said absolutely they would send me two rods for my 5,000 giveaway uh, when they did that I, I immediately said you know what I'm gonna buy two more EO head rods uh, 
Washington, D.C. All my fishing is pretty much Washington, D.C. It's the Potomac River. Some, somewhere in the Potomac River. Thank you, thank you so much for saying that. I appreciate that. Uh, you fishing tonight, Elston? Um, I don't know. <laughs> that, let me just say that uh, that skunk, that skunk video that we did together, everyone was there. We had over 500 people. Boy, I mean, nothing I can do about the, the fish, but I can't control that. But uh, let me just say I'm a little disappointed I didn't start my stream earlier. That's all I got to say. Um, I've, I've said that over and over that I'm going to start starting my streams earlier and... I kind of wait as much as possible for, um, yes, muskrat. Thank you so much for, <laughs> uh, for now on. If I, if I get to the bank at seven o'clock, I'm going to start at seven o'clock, but it, it gets dark by seven 20. Uh, it just kind of threw me off balance when I was going live, um, on somebody else's scheduled live stream night, they called me and, um, let me just say it brought my spirit down. Um, but you know what? I'm over it. And um, there's the unboxing, empty two. Oh, what's in here? <laughs> I, thought, I thought there was maybe a chub or something in there. Uh, people want to hang out and watch you fish. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. I have a, we have a lot of fun, especially even if we have gar bites, it's a lot of fun. Thank you so much guys for the 70 thumbs up. Y'all are awesome and amazing. Love it, I don't wanna keep it too much longer. I gotta take my daughter, she has a, a physical doctor's appointment. So what time is it? Now oh, we have a few more minutes. But like I said, I've been really, really blessed, guys. I mean, it's, oh, we said we are sorry. <laughs> See, let me tell you, it was a double whammy on my last live stream. Everyone is great, okay? But when I personally know the people going live, um, we had Palmetto, it was Palmetto's night to go live. His guest, his guest is totally amazing, which is Mr. Chad, he was the guest. And he sent me two reels. Where are they? Are they here? No, they're, they're put away over there. Uh, he sent me two Akuma Avengers. And I just, it, it was hard for me to go live while, while he was a guest on Palmetto Show. But that cost me showing that the only three fish that I caught that night is when I was fishing, hearing, you know, y'all talk about, I forgot what. But <laughs> <sighs> You left the realistic shirt at home. Yeah, that was so funny when realistic said, I mean, I don't remember word for word. I couldn't read it, but he said, you know, if you're not wearing the realistic shirt, you might as well throw your, your rods or your base on the bank. <laughs> I mean, just the way he worded it was just, it cracked me up. It was so awesome. And man, was he giving it to me. I tried to make it up sometimes. No, Mr. Chad, you're also amazing. Once again, Mrs. Mr. Chad, and Mrs. D right there, husband and wife, they sent me two Akuma, Akuma Range Avenger reels. Right now, they have to be my most favorite spinning reels that I have. Um, love them. They overnighted. Just, I can, I'm only going to tell you this. They spent $40 just on overnighting shipping to me. Um, I say thank you. But it did cost me my only three fish that I caught. But uh, you know what? And here's the, the fun thing. The first one was on a Chris Warris rod. It was a nice one, about nine pounds. And then about 20 minutes later... I caught one as soon as I landed it, my other my other rod went down. So that's like a double, and I you know I, it was I doubled up, and those are the ones that really do well on the live stream. But you know we'll get them next time. It's in the bling chunky bling. Uh, hey D, the hello Mr. D for coming in, and once again, guys, let me just say um, I'm really grateful and thankful and in the position where I'm at, where people are really helping the channel. People by when I say helping the channel, first of all, you're here. You stop by, you click the view, that's that's number one. Number two, if you want to hit the thumbs up, that helps me as well. Number three is, you know, if you want to donate towards the channel, it helps me purchase things. As a matter of fact, let me show you what what I just purchased. Um, um, those, those who do Super Chats uh, and those who send me money through PayPal or, or send me gifts. I mean, and gifts that, you know, that, that I can really use. I mean, wonderful people, Palmetto sh shirts, reels, rods um it, it's just unbelievable amount of things that people do even like richard ward sent me a nice catfish rod um and i was able to bling it up a little bit a brand new inverter guys brand new inverter this is <laughs> if michael marillo still here he might be a little disappointed because it's not the one he he recommended for me but um i thought this one made a little bit more sense for me because oh it's nice and light oh i love it 
official official this is my style of unboxing guys that's it i'm not gonna spend too much time it's uh, a back part is that did i say that right guys we're gonna we're gonna try this i do like it because it's got it's got the whatever the usb ports and it also has this so the one michael Murillo recommended they didn't have these two here uh what's up chunky are you going to use that new inverter tonight <laughs> i haven't said i'm going live tonight and i really doubt it yeah mr Murillo, check this one out this one's a little bit more expensive than the one you recommended but like i said the last live stream paid for this uh we had uh we had forty dollars on paypal and i forget what it was during the stream like fifty six dollars but it pays for it uh do it <laughs> yeah so i i need i need to bolt this one down onto that my battery case i'm not gonna have it strapped no more i'm gonna i'm gonna do something different but it's a nice one hopefully it's more quiet the other one it had it it had its loud sorry about that uh sorry about that guys um a phone call came in and it really disturbed the live stream so yeah I, to be honest i'm not planning to go fishing tonight but uh, i believe dmb is going live stream i saw his post so um me and him went live when i can't remember what it was was it no sun, sunday night yeah, sunday night and we both got skunked so the fishing has slowed down but it's it's got to hit i mean those fish got to eat make sure that works before you guys drive it. good point mr Murillo. good good i'm glad you really yeah i need to make sure it works because you know it's really affordable i'm sure it's chinese made which i have no problem buying chinese i don't you know if it saves me money it it works done but you're right good good point uh give it a full test plug in all the lights uh outdoor uh sean thank you so much for being here appreciate it. um what it is yes that's his saying i can't even say it how he that what it do what it be what it is yes that's a uh, dmv's name lg bass thank you so much for for being here all of y'all every single one of y'all once again guys i just i've had these rods and i need to start working on them. haven't painted because they have to dry out um this is the last one i painted um once again michael Murillo's aunt tone sent me this rod and um i really like the way the paint dried and i'm not sure because i set up black lights overnight i'm not sure if the uv helped bake this but this finish is a lot it, it got hard a lot faster love the thumbnail you make um oh the thumbnails that i that i make are not from me that's real catfishing and let me just say i have to give them props and thanks um they've already they gave me the design for a shirt oh it's beautiful so shirts will be on the market really really soon um uh, th they're phenomenal the thumbnails that i do are like today just plain picture oh no no that's the, they're not here right now if not we we have to do something uh, to give them credit for all the thumbnails that they've been doing lately i i <laughs> that's i can't take credit for that and um most of the the titles that you read to, to get you in here are from Michael Murillo. Uh, we were struggling today with, <laughs> with the title. Uh, they do a great job. They do a phenomenal job. Um, thank you for saying that. Can't wait for the shirts. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should do a sneak peek. You know how to do a post? Check it out. Um, I just gotta, I gotta learn how to upload it into that Teesprings. There's just so many different questions that ask you if you what kind of vendor you are. Or do you have a YouTube? channel and i believe if you have a youtube channel which of course we do you know they give you more of a kickback so um i'm not sure if they get excited maybe they think they're gonna sell more i don't know but i gotta figure that out i can't wait for this shirt me too <laughs> me too uh guys it's 107 i gotta take my daughter to the doctor she has a physical today i'm gonna close this out uh take some kids fishing for perch yes good point we need to try something different um I gotta find where to go get perch easy um there's a good lake but catching perch, well here's the thing is i want to go catch perch with high vis 20 pound monofilament they see the line you know i i don't have two pound four pound clear um that's what i need to do first of all go get proper check out bunker man that youtube t-shirt vendor um okay um i'll have to look into that mr gadget if you want to look up my email it's chunky cats fishing at gmail send me the link that would be awesome if you could do that all right guys i'm gonna close it out i want to thank everyone single, every single one of y'all for being here for all the support you give me i this channel wouldn't be growing the way it's growing if it's not for each and every single one of y'all um like i said i give everyone credit for clicking the view button checking me out um 
liking it and those who are able to do super chats but like i said just by you being here watching it um we'll be giving away two whisker secret rods once again i'm gonna, before i close it out uh where are the let me pull them up real quick if i can find them all right guys so they are two piece uh, we're going to be giving away one spinning and one casting. Brand new rods. Um, I'm going to bling them up. Here's the spinning, here's the spinning one and here's the casting model. Uh, once we hit 5,000 and these are properly painted, um, they're definitely going to have paint. I'm not sure if they can have high reflective tape, but we'll see. Uh, take care of my rod. <laughs> I love the way he's already calling it. Oh, man. Guys, if I mean, I hope good luck to everyone. And if you don't win it, really, really check out Whisker Seeker. Phenomenal, phenomenal rod. I mean, it just, I just love the sexiness, how thin it is. I mean, you know, everyone has different preference. If you like thick, thin, grippy, um, just keep in mind, guys, the paint that I add will make this super slick. So if your hands are wet and you can grab this, trust me, if it's a big fish, it's going to pull it out of your hand. So make sure you drag, you set the drag right because the, the clear acrylics that I use, I'm sorry, the clear lacquers that I use, um, when your hands are wet and slimy from catfish slime, extremely slimy. So um, it's got its benefits. It's got the chunky, you know, chunky addition to it. All right, guys. I love every single one of y'all. Y'all take care. I'm not sure when I'm going to go live. Um, we'll see. If I can find some eel or some cut white perch or something, we might do it. Um, but I know DMV will be going live. So check out DMV. He's an awesome good friend of mine. Um, appreciate that outdoor addiction. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. Uh, put some sand on the handle. No, I wouldn't do no sand. No, no, just clear. You can, <laughs> if you win it, you can put some clear and you can drop a little sand on there. But I, I wouldn't do it. It's something I'm not comfortable with later. Uh, sign the rod. Oh boy. I guess we can do that. We can. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all take care. Love every single one of y'all. See y'all.